We are at the 10th annual FE Race and Reunion at Beaver Springs Driveway. All right, so a little history on what the show is. So this is dedicated to the Ford FE, or Ford Edsel, engine family, which was first started in 1958 when Ford brought out the Edsel car. And they didn't have an engine powerful enough to run that big heavy car. So they designed this new big block, which eventually ended up running all the way until 1976 and was in cars, Mustangs, trucks, pretty much everything that Ford made. Little um, Freedomatic fun fact. In 1964, the most powerful production vehicle that you could buy was the 64 Fairline Thunderbolt with 425 horsepower, and it was powered by an FE. Then the next year in 65, the most powerful production car you could get was the Shelby Cobra Competition, which also had an FE. So, two years, the most powerful car you could buy was powered by an FE, and the Cobra, with 485 horsepower, no other production vehicle made that much horsepower until 1986. So that's super cool, and stay tuned. It's a car show and drag racing. It's a really fun show. Let's get her done. Neat 69 Mercury Cyclone. Cal Yarborough Special. The 428 Cobra Jet. Very rare car. There's a 67 Fairlane GTA with a aluminum block 427. That's gnarly. 64 Fairlane 500 and a 66 Galaxy convertible with a 428. Alright, this is Larry Courtcamp and his car, Battlestar Galactic. So, can you tell me what makes this car cool? It's a wagon and it's a stick shift. Okay. And it was an original 289 three speed overdrive car. I bought it from original owners in 1992. It was all stock, white walls, big mud flat, vinyl on the seats, all original. Local track opened up in 95 and I turned it into a race car and I've been racing it ever since. Okay, that's cool. Started uh, out with a 428. It's grown to a aftermarket 427 block. It's 496 cubic inches. Oh wow! It uh, Liberty Pro Stock five speed in it, clutchless. Okay. It's gone 1028, 128. Oh wow! So it's been a 25 year long, you know, chipping away at it. Okay, but, uh, that's cool. Uh, what suspension upgrades do you have? Uh, still all the original front suspension under it, ball joints, tie rods, everything. Okay. Trick springs to get it down on the ground. Um, it's got about eight inches of front end travel. Okay. And uh, the rear end, 
I used to run ladder bars with floaters, but I put coilovers on it now. And uh, still a nine inch, got 46 gears in it. Oh wow. We're gonna run a 29 and a half by 10 and a half Mickey Thompson stiff sidewall tire. Okay. So, it, uh, best 60 foot's 137. Oh wow. And uh, it's usually mid-low 14s at most marginal tracks, but you get a good tight track, it'll put the front end a couple three feet in the air. So okay, it's that's on cool. a good show. Yeah. Uh, can we talk about your tow rig too? It's a 1959 B61 Mac. Oh wow, that's cool. I bought it a little over 20 years ago. A local towing company uh, from Canton, Ohio. A local towing company had it sitting out front of their lot, and I always thought it was cool. And I'm like, yeah, it'd be neat to have that, something like that. Yeah. A buddy of mine's shop was across the street. He's, well, go ask Ron, see if he'll sell it. I walked over there, and Ron's like, yeah, you can buy it. He goes, all the people have been wanting it. And he goes, you're a lucky guy. Okay. I bought it. It ran and drove. I stretched it, five foot air ride, put the bunk on it, put a motor in it, cruise control, air conditioning. It's got air assist steering. I put air starter on it. Um, been using it to pull the car around for 20 years now. Okay, that's cool. Goes anywhere I need to go. Yeah. So that's awesome. It's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Awesome car. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Nice bump side here, short bed, Ranger, with a 392 barrel, 68 Mustang, looks like the bullet car, and a 64 Fairline, 69 Mustang Mach 1, shaker hood on the Cobra Jet. Nice dent side. Uh, there is a a 390. And a 70 Mach 1. A cool now, all original 1970 Mustang Mach 1. Original paint, interior, and engine. Even has power steering and power brakes. It's a 66 Mercury Comet Cyclone. Nice Galaxy. And here is a 67 Mercury Comet Wagon, which was built and driven by Barry Poole. Very neat car. Got a four speed. Nice 50 F1 half ton pickup. But it was pretty hard. I bet it's a pretty tight fit with the big block in it. But got fenders tubbed out in the back to fit them big slicks. Nice truck. There's a 67 Fairline with a Tri Power 428 Cobra Jet. The 61 Starliner. It's even got a Holly Sniper EFI unit. That's gnarly. And a 64 Galaxy 500. Nice 64 Galaxy 500.
and a 73 F100 short bed with the 390. Nice clean truck. This is a Galaxy 1963. And here's another 63 Galaxy. Nice solid car, good patina. Here's a 1960 Starliner with a dual quad 427. Here is an SN95 Mustang built in the 90s with an FE. That's really cool. Have a modern chassis with an older engine. That's neat. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said earlier, it is just a really, really fun show and a lot of awesome cars. So if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out my other videos from the show, and I will see you next time. Bye.